Hey everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to make your image go from this to this. This tutorial started out as a request from Taran from the Linus Tech Tips YouTube channel. He posted a reverse tutorial on his personal channel where he asked for help on how to grade and color correct footage. And I decided to tackle that challenge. Even though I'm not a professional colorist, I hope some of my knowledge can help someone out with this tutorial. Now, this is my final result, and this is the final result he wanted to get to. It's pretty close, but I'm not going for a perfect match. Uh, going for a perfect match can waste a lot of time for a very small difference. Here, I just want to show you an easy way to grade your footage with this cinematic look. So, let's sort out. Do keep in mind that I'm working with a really low quality screenshot from his video, but you can get the idea and your images are going to look even better than my results here. First off, let's let's do a comparison here between the two, the final result, the target and the initial. Now, first off, we obviously need to adjust the exposure. Quick rundown here on the four dials. Offset is going to move your entire signal as a block, right? It's really just going to be offsetting it up or down. Gain is going to pull down from the white point. Lift is going to lift up from the black point. And gamma is going to stretch and pull from the middle right there. Now, we don't want to drop the gain and leave the image all flat. So let's start bringing down the gamma until we get somewhere close to what we want, let's say. It's brighter, but let's leave it at that for now. Let's take off a, a little bit of the, the gain as well. So maybe something like that. Let's see. Okay. After this is done, let's create a new node. You can go for Alt S or Add Node and Add Serial. Next one, I'm going to add the tent here. Now let's compare these two. So first thing I notice here is a lot more red on the ungraded footage. So let's start taking it off. Luma mix, we're going to have to take it down at zero so we can work with each channel individually. If we leave this at 100, all the channels move to compensate. Now if we zero it out, we can edit each individually. So that's what we want. Now let's start bringing it down until we have a rough match. Let's see. Don't look only at the peaks. The gamma needs to be matched as well. It's a little lower. Let's raise it up. Okay. We don't have to be super accurate here. We're not going once again for the perfect match. So let's start now taking off some of the screen. And also use your eyes, right? Right here on the main channel. Okay, now what I see is less blue to end this part. Let's start adding it up. Yeah, that's pretty close. So just with this adjustment, we are already pretty close. Check it out, right? What I'm seeing here is that the blacks are too dark. So why don't we go back here and just lift this up a little. Okay, that's better. Okay, now I'm going to do the final skin tones adjustments. Your skin tones end up looking way too blue due to the tint adjustment. So let's save these. You need to create a layer mixer. You can either go to add node or add layer or alt. L is going to create one. So let's go for a skin. And now we need to qualify the skin. So let's do a selection. This is how I like to do it. I choose a small width here and then I try to find it. The skin here. Let's start raising, making it bigger. All right. Now let's soften it out. Okay, now as you can see, we're selecting quite a few things that we do not want. This, for example, doesn't look 
orange yellowish that's because the saturation is so low the program is still picking it up as that color so if we start taking off some of the lower saturation parts it's gonna clean it up use the low soft so you have a soft transition there that's how I like to clean it up and as you can see it makes a pretty big difference so now that that's how it looks it doesn't look too natural because it's too strong so let's take this gain down you need to go to key and gain to reduce the opacity that's looking quite a bit healthier and more natural let's compare before and after rather target maybe a little bit more okay now the floor right here this is green and the target is kind of more toward the orangish so let's create another layer mixer either here to layer or alt L so let's go floor and now let's select this area I'm gonna go once again like this now we move it around okay let me take a look let's leave some of these areas off now we have our selection what we can see in the final image is that it's not really this greenish tone it's more of an orangish so let's go for curves hue versus hue we create a few control points here and let's start bringing it up to that tone the selection here is kind of busy let's let's denoise and blur it out to make it more natural alright now we need to start kicking off that gain to make it look more natural now it's too strong let's bring it down and here we go here we have a very nice pretty close match if you'd like to go really crazy with this match you could start matching the hues here instead of this bluish this is more teal it's a little bit more towards that really teal look and but I think this is a very nice grade and with this setup that's saving all of these stones you can start adding your crazy tints so if I do this or maybe a ton of green right and these two layers are still making those skin tones appear natural this is what would happen without these two right and here it's still kinda natural so you can do a lot with these simple techniques in a short period of time so thank you guys a lot for watching if you enjoyed this kind of content please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video I'd love to see some comments and suggestions for next video in the section down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.